Hello and welcome to another video on how to use Amazon affiliate links to monetize your social media or website traffic. In this video, I'm going to share a quick tip to show you how you can monetize international traffic that I wish I knew earlier on. If you're new to my channel, allow me to introduce myself first. Hi there, my name is Anna and I'm a blogging coach and strategist, helping bloggers boost their traffic and increase their online income using smart blogging strategies. But back to what you came here to learn. Can you actually monetize international traffic with Amazon affiliate links if you, for example, are based in the UK or the US? The answer is yes, and this is how. So let's say, for example, that you have a standard Amazon affiliate account with their amazonassociates.com website, right? But if you implement the trick that I'll show you in this video, when somebody lands on your blog that's from the UK or from Italy, for example, they can click on the same link that everybody else is clicking and be automatically redirected to the Amazon of their location. So for example, Amazon Italy or amazon.co.uk, meaning you still get a commission. Because if you are a US blogger and I was reading your blog and you link to this super cute top, I would land on the amazon.com website and I wouldn't order from them because who wants to pay $20 in shipping where I could just look up the brand myself in amazon.co.uk and buy it from there. But that means you won't get a commission. But this trick will allow you to make that modification and send people to the country of their location, meaning they can buy and you still get a commission sent to your Amazon account. In fact, you can link it all from one umbrella account. So it's super easy to manage and actually check on your monthly reports. And I will show you exactly how to do that in less than five minutes. Let's go. The first thing that you need to get started is an amazonassociates.com account. No matter if you're a resident of the United States or not, or if your blog traffic is from them, in order for the one link feature to work, you do need to have an affiliate program from amazon.com. You can see the link here and I'll leave it in the description as well. If you already have one, it's super easy. Just sign in. Once you're signed in, go to tools and one link. You'll see here that you can monetize international traffic and earn globally. All you need to do is click on the get started button and make sure that the relevant countries are selected. Just click add countries and select the ones that you want to be a participant of. And then click next, accept the terms and conditions and submit. You can also set a payment method for these and luckily you don't need to have a bank account for all these countries. You can get paid in your initial payment account. So for example, I have a UK bank account and I get paid for all of these in my UK bank account, but you can update it by country if you prefer in the update button. And you might also need to fill out further tax documents. For the one link to work in the other countries, you need an affiliate account in all those other Amazons. So how Amazon works is that they have different dashboards and almost different accounts for every single account in every single country. That means that you need to go through the sign up process for all these different accounts first. I would recommend starting with US and UK, then looking at your blog analytics and see what other countries you get traffic from. If you don't get traffic from Germany or Japan, for example, it's not really worth creating an account for it as an Amazon affiliate just yet. You can always go back and create one if you notice traffic from a specific country. But until then, if you do the US, Canada and UK, the UK account will usually automatically connect with all the other major European countries and the Amazon associated to them. So that will kill loads of birds with just one stone. You have the sign up links here for every single one of these accounts. Make sure to go through the sign up process and complete your tax form and add your bank account there. What you will also notice on your application is that you get assigned an associate ID. This will be different from country to country, and that's how they keep track of whose account is whose and how they connect it all under one link. So if you go back to your one link tool and you go to link stores, you will notice you have your linked stores here. So you can expand on this and see for each one of these countries that they have a slightly different ID. If this is blank, so you haven't done this yet, it's so important to link these. So go to add stores to link, add store ID. And after you sign up for all these different tools, 
log in or check the email they just sent. They usually send an email right after they receive your application with your associate ID. And look for this bolded number in the corner. It's usually a combination of your name or blog name and a number at the end. This cannot be changed, so it is assigned automatically by them, but it's not usually something that people see when they click your link. So it's not super important, it's just for their tally. Once again, this will be different from country to country. And then all you have to do is paste it in here. You want to make sure all your relevant store IDs are included in here for them to properly track it. If you're not sure that all your tracking IDs are included, just go over your manage your tracking IDs account and see these tracking IDs that you have. So for example, for this account, when I got started, I created a couple of other tracking IDs for different purposes, and I wanna make sure that they are both included in there. So I'll copy this tracking ID right here. I'll go back to my link stores and I'll make sure to add that one as well and link stores. But what happens when you don't make three sales on every single platform is that your store ID becomes inactive. So for example, this is one for my Germany affiliate account that I signed up for ages ago and I don't really have an audience from Germany. So I didn't make the minimum three sales for the Amazon affiliate program of that country in the first 180 days. So Amazon closed that account. Now don't freak out if this happens to you. All you need to do is just reapply to that affiliate program and link to your new tracking ID. The good news about using Amazon One Link is that once your Amazon.com application goes through, and that's the one, the most important ones to get those initial sales, the rest of them you can change without changing the initial link. So my affiliate links will stay active and will redirect other customers other than Germany customers, for example, until I add a new store ID that is active for that country. Even though you think you will not make those sales just yet, it is worth putting that in. You only need to change them if you don't get accepted and you might be missing out on some sales. If you have any trouble setting this up, be sure to read their integration guide. They also walk you through what I've just walked you through. And it might be different if you're doing it from certain accounts. So if you only have a UK account or Canada account and then trying to link with other stores, they will have a tutorial here on how to update your links and preferences. One other thing that you can do in your OneLink settings is to check your redirect preferences make sure that they do redirect to the closest possible match. So that means if they can find the exact product that you're linking to sold on both amazon.com and Amazon UK, they will show other options for products. This will often happen if the sellers themselves are not international, but it will help your audience find close match products. So definitely make sure that this is selected as recommended if you haven't done it already. And that is how you monetize international traffic on Amazon. Keep in mind that the same rule you had for your original Amazon account, where you had to make three sales in the first 180 days, still apply to these other accounts for these marketplaces, meaning you will need to make three UK sales, for example, to keep that account. And that will allow the redirect to continue to work and monetize that international traffic. If not, don't worry, you will just be able to reapply and relink it to your Amazon One Link account. To learn more about the Amazon best practices, make sure you check out my Amazon do's and don'ts for affiliates. And of course, don't forget to diversify your affiliate income or your blogging income in general. There are other affiliate programs out there that tend to pay better than Amazon. And if they're relevant to your niche, even better. I actually have a list of 99 plus high paying affiliate programs in over 10 niches that I'm sharing for absolute free. So be sure to grab it down below and mix this in with your Amazon links as well. And of course, if you enjoyed my blogging tips and you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, subscribe and stick around for more. Your engagement encourages me to keep filming these and provide you with super awesome tips for free. And of course, if you have any video requests or if you're stuck or anything in particular, leave a comment below or just email me. I'll see you around.